Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it is nine o'clock and I am back with Katie for another Katie test. People loved the Katie test, didn't they, Michael? They did. They love you, Katie. You can become a social <laughs> media megastar. So I've dragged her out the admin department to get her to see some more magic. And genuinely, this is the only time you get to see magic in it this is. company, isn't it? it so is. you don't have a clue about any of the stuff that we do. Nope. So I'm gonna show you um, a trick I bought out a couple of years ago. It's one of my tricks. It's called the quantum deck. Okay. Okay. I know that means absolutely nothing to you. But I'm going to show you something called the quantum deck. And one of the reasons I decided to show you this is because um, the way I do it now is slightly different to how I did it on the project a couple of years ago. I've actually, um, when I'm doing like a formal sit down show, you know, like when I do parlor shows and stuff like that, this is tends to be how I perform it. Okay. So I'm going to show you the trick and I want your opinion. Okay. okay. So we use two decks of cards. Yeah. I'll tell you right now. The red deck does not become important until a little bit later on. Okay. The red deck is important, but not until later. At the moment, the single most important thing is this blue deck. Okay. Now, this is a trick that exists purely in your imagination. Do you have a good imagination? <laughs> Sometimes. If you haven't, can you imagine you have? That would be amazing. Um, because this does genuinely exist in your imagination. The first part of this does. Then the second part, I'm going to show you something impossible. Okay. The first part, all about your imagination. So, you know what a pack of cards is, you obviously play cards. Do you own... not shuffle them. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't, it's embarrassing. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get it's you something. It's embarrassing for me. It's <laughs> embarrassing for me. <laughs> um, but we're going to have you pick a card, right? Uh, and I think the easiest way is if I just go down the deck like this, just yep. say stop anytime you want. Stop. Are yeah, you sure? Yep. Okay, cool. So first of all, have a look at that card. You can show the camera if you don't want to, but don't show me. And then and put it somewhere into the middle of the deck, face down. Nice, very good. And if you really want to give them just one very quick Katie shot. <laughs> you just want to laugh do. at me, don't you? No, 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 no. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, I feel personally attacked. You're doing great. You're doing great. Now, there's one other thing I need, uh, which is... Um, have you got a... Have you got a rubber band? I did ask you for a rubber band earlier. Did you... <laughs> did you earlier. Did you bring it in? No. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Fine. Um... <laughs> Sorry, it's my fault, I'm an idiot. I'm going to wrap the elastic band around the deck, and that way I can't cheat. Yeah. And you can hold this in between your hands. So, uh, I don't know how well you know a deck of cards. How many cards are there in the deck? 52. There's 52, very good. Um, and they're made up of four suits, which yeah. are clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. There's 13 yeah. cards inside each suit, so that's 52 cards yeah. altogether. And there were the jokers in there as well, so that's actually 54. Okay. One of those cards is your card. Now, here's what's going to happen. This is all going to happen in your imagination. And I really want you to visualise that deck of cards. It's why I had you shuffle it. Okay. Because when you shuffle a deck of cards, it's going to allow you to visualise it in your head. And when you visualise it, don't visualise it inside a card box. Visualise it as it is, with yeah. all of the backs and all of the fronts. And what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that when I snap my fingers, the backs of all of the cards fade away except for one. All of the colours drop off them. All of the blue mm -hmm. drops off the backs of the cards. So it's going to be blank except for one? Except for one. So let's do that now. I want you to imagine in your imagination all of those cards, all of the ink off the backs of the cards are dropping away, leaving just one card and one card only, one back. Okay. Now I want you to imagine in your head that... Um, you turn the cards over and you spread through them and you can see all the faces. There's all the different colours, predominantly red and black. But then there's also lots of other colours, because the court cards, the jacks, the queens, the kings, yeah. that have yellow on them and things like that. When I snap my fingers, I want you to imagine that all of those cards fade away. All of the ink vanishes off every card except for the card you're thinking of. I want you to imagine that now, all of the ink just drops away, like globlets. Is globlet a word? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think all so. of it drops away, leaving just one card. And now I want you to imagine that you've got this deck of blank cards. And there's one card that's left inside there that's not mm -hmm. blank, and that's the card that you thought of. Now I want you to imagine that that card is, is going up and down in the deck. And it's existing in every single position at the same time, almost like it's in a quantum state of flux. Mm -hmm. and I want you to imagine it stops somewhere in the middle, around about the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly yeah. the middle. It stops somewhere around about there. It's not at the very top. It's not at the very bottom. When I snap my fingers, name that position that that card stops in. In fact, tell me when it stops. Stop. What position did it stop in? Fifth. Well, that's very near the top. I said it stopped more towards the middle. You can have the fifth if you want to, but... We'll go again. Okay, so it starts moving again. If you want fifth, it's fine. I don't really care, but 
I wouldn't too imagine it's stopping either in the fifth or somewhere else. Where does it stop? Stop. Where does it stop? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Now, it's really important that you understand that all the choice is yours. So you can go back to the fifth card. You can stay at the 22nd card. You can go to the 21st card. You can go to the 18th card. No, I want card. 22. Are you sure? I want 22. Because yeah. that's interesting, because 22 is my IQ. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's quite ambitious. <laughs> it really is, to be honest. At least you can shuffle. I can shuffle. I can shuffle. Before I open up this deck of cards, do you want it to go up, one more up and go to the 21st position? No. Because one, one, one infinitesimal change would change everything. Well, 122. Are you sure? Yeah. Katie, okay, you want 22? Uh, yeah. You're going to get 22. <laughs> okay. So you imagine, you shuffled the card into the pack, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yourself. And the elastic band was wrapped around. You've been holding these yeah. in between your hands. Yeah, I've had them the whole time. The entire time. And I want you to see every single card let me just check every single card has turned blank on the face and on the back katie yeah how weird is this that's very weird every... i thought you put them in <laughs> <laughs> every single one of them has turned blank but what position did you say 22 22 not 21 22 22 not 21 22 <laughs> Andre. it's very important that we get it right yep I'm going to deal to the 22nd card. I'm going to turn each card over so you can see that they are both blank okay. on both sides. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Isn't this exciting? Fourteen, fifteen, every card blank, sixteen. 17, every single one, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, <laughs> 22. You can see that all these cards are blank. Look, they are all blank. Every single card, there's only one card that's it's printed. Now, for the first time, what was the name of your card? It was the King of Hearts. It was the King of Hearts, was it really? Yeah. Are you joking? No. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. It was the King of Hearts. It was the King of Hearts. Have a look. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that's kind of weird? I, I, I don't think it's weird. I think it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this all happened in your imagination. Look at the guy. It's not like the ink. You shuffled these yourself, right? Every single one of them. Yeah, I shuffled them. Crazy. Badly, but you shuffled them. <laughs> and you picked any card. You put it into the pack. You imagine that. And card. I picked and the number. You could have stayed with five if you wanted to. I gave you a choice. I could have gone to 21. I feel you like you wanted me to go to I was 21. I, you know, you could have gone to 21, but you went to 22. Yeah. How amazing is that? That's probably amazing. I said I was going to show you something, though. Um, I said, uh, you can keep that as a souvenir, there you go. I said I was going to show you something that was impossible as well as, that That all took yeah. place in your imagination. I was very lucky that you have a good imagination, else that wouldn't have worked. But I said I was going to show you something amazing. I am going to show you something impossible. What you're about to see is impossible. But before I do, just gonna show can, you, can, you just, well, can you just confirm, there's no other cards in there. That, 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 that King of Hearts was the only one that's printed. They're, they're, they're all, all is, is that fair? Yeah. yeah that's, I don't really think I'm cheating. I'm going to cheat. I just don't really think I'm going to. Um, and obviously these are all here. And I, I, I've used red back cards, so they differ yeah. completely from yeah. the blue back cards that we had earlier. And um, are you going to grab a card? Okay. But you're going to write your name on it. So maybe pick a number card. Here you go. Right. Take a number card. Card with a number on it. Okay, and uh, I'll give you a pen. And what I want you to do is write your name on the card, on the face, not on the back, on the face, not on your face, on the face of the card. Big letters. Uh, then underneath, if you could put your bank account number and sort code. And <laughs> you won't find much in there. <laughs> <laughs> pin number, all that fun stuff. Social security number. Yeah, that would be good as well then. Let's, oh, let's no. get all of them. And I'll take the pen back, because that's, uh, that's how I got it, to be perfectly honest. And you're going to put the card back. So just say stop. Stop. There, put the card back there. Did you show the card to Michael this time? No. Oh, Michael, there you go. Oh. That's the uh, that's the card. Roughly, how many cards down in the pack would you say that card is? Oh, I could have been 20. Do you want to push it in for me? So, understand that what you're about to see right now is impossible. It's not sleight of hand. 
A lot of people think it's sleight of hand, and it's not. This is sleight of hand. If I took the uh, the nine of hearts, that's not your card, is it? Because you pushed it in about 20 cards down. Oh, it's not got my nine on. Yeah, so a sleight of hand would be me, me taking that nine and turning it into your card. I know. I know. This is what I do. I just put it in the deck, Craig. I know, and it came to the top. Look, hang on, look, 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 we'll do it again. Look, we'll put it a, bit, a little bit further down this time. Can you, uh, can you push it in a little bit further down? Now, that time it was a bit further. How many cards down would you say that card was that time? Should we go for 31? 31, so we're saying not at the top, right? But it's got my eye on it. It's not like there could be two of them. Exactly. You push it in yourself. Push it in yourself. Press the button on top. Turn the top card over. <laughs> Maybe it's not really going in. Let's do it this way. I'm going to flip it over like that, right? Yeah. I'll give you one last look at it so you can see it really is there. I'm going to put it into the middle of this half. I'm going to put this half into the middle of this half. Now it's in the middle of the middle of the middle. Yeah. I'll show you it's not on top. I'll show you it's not on the bottom. Now it's not that the card comes to the top. The top card turns into your card. You don't normally see that because the card's face down. Yeah. But if I lift that card face up like this, you would actually see the moment that it changes into the, uh, the four. This is sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> I said, take about half, the, take about half the cards, and and spread them out like a magician, like a bad magician. But that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. I told you I'm not going to be a magician, Craig. <laughs> well, we're going <laughs> to the catermentary is coming. Uh, shuffle the card into that pack, and then if you could shuffle it into this. I pack feel of... like they don't even need shuffling. You just do like, giggles at this point. Um. And what I want you to do, Michael, if you can, is uh, think of a number from 1 to 52, but don't say anything. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Good. Can you hold them in between your hands? Uh, you check these cards. They were definitely blank. They were all blank. Okay. Because I took that so one. I made the card come to the top of the deck about yeah. five or six times there, right? But that was sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. I'm openly telling you. That's like the reason I have no social life and I had no girlfriend <laughs> all the way through uni. What you're about to see now is truly impossible. If my card appears in there, I'm just going to like... Freak out, right? going to be blown. First of all, snap your fingers. <laughs> Very good. Uh, now, it's not on top, is it? Because sometimes when people snap, it does drop to the top. No. So what we'll do is we'll have a look through. You shuffle into the pack. Can you look for your card? It was the... Uh, what was the card again? It's the four of hearts. Four I mean, it's not there. It's, it's four of diamonds. Um, it's two of hearts. No, that, that, there's no four of hearts there. No. You said if it would appear in there. My mind will explode. <laughs> well, what about if it appeared in there, but it appeared at a particular number? Did I actually think of a number, Michael? Yeah. What number? 31. 131? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because that's like, you can change your mind if you want to, just like Katie could change her mind. She went from 5 to 22, almost to 21, but not. Yeah. Do you want to change your mind or you're okay? 31's okay. 31's okay. Katie, this time, because I always like to vary it up a bit, so this yeah. time we'll make it appear face up. In the 31st position, your signed card, even though I haven't touched these cards. This is the big finish, Katie, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I turn them over like this so you can see that they're blank on both sides. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Right there, Katie. And it is even not the red one. <laughs> Your sign card. And everything is examinable. I know, I've already looked at them all. <laughs> Yeah, my mind's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of that? I think it was good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, great. This is um, uh, a trick I released a couple of years ago. It's called the Quantum Deck. And that's a that's a little set. Well, it's called the, 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 the first and the last effect was the Quantum Deck. I put something in, in the middle, which is a different thing. But that's how I structure the whole thing now. Uh, kind of like a... Te how, was that about 10 minutes? Something like that? About 14 minutes-ish. 14 minutes-ish. Yeah. There you go. Like about a 14-minute act.
five minutes of that was me attempting to shuffle. Well, it was good. It was good. <laughs> I mean, we do enough Katie tests. You'll, uh... So what do you think? Pros and cons. Are there any uh, cons? Are there any pros? Uh, you, you haven't really got much of a reference point because you haven't no, seen much magic. Seen you much saw magic. you saw the magic button. Uh, you saw mind blocks. You've seen this. Yeah, but that one well, wowed me. That so wowed so me. did you prefer that to the Lego one from last yeah. week? Okay. Because this was not mind reading, this was kind of more yeah. magic. You kind of gravitate more towards the magic. Yeah. What about the magic button thing where I had the button? And I the did like the magic button, but that was the first time I'd seen magic. It so. was the first time I'd seen it. So is this the best one so far out of all the Katie tests? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Looks like looks like I'm looks like I'm like the quality of my releases is going down. <laughs> 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 no, because I thought after I've been in here with you twice now, and I thought, okay, it's not going to look blow me away, but that was just like what. <laughs> And which was your favourite bit? Where the cards turned blank in your hand, other than that yeah, king of hearts? Yeah, because I literally had them. There was an elastic band around there. There's nothing, look, we couldn't have changed them. No. So, yeah. Because, obviously, I'm magic. You are magic. I'm We've magic already established this. You, your imagination <laughs> did this. It was. A, I'm seeing a pattern, actually. You were the one that made the card appear at the back of the button. Mm. You were the person that was finding the cards in the Lego deck, and you're the person that's doing this. This is not me. This is you. Yeah, the Katie Metry is, is definitely <laughs> coming, happening. Katie. It's definitely <laughs> happening. Um, yeah. Well, you like it. So give it a percentage out of 100. What 100? 100. I'm going to have to sit at my desk now, look. <laughs> I'm just gonna be scratching my head all day. <laughs> well, I'm I'm really glad you like it. That's amazing. I I, I like her better than Matt. Do you, Michael? <laughs> Need to keep her. Um, right, there you got Katie. Thank you for joining us okay, once again you. on the, uh, the Katie test. Uh, you can get the quantum deck from your favourite Magic Dealer, or we actually have it on, in uh, Magic TV, don't we? We actually have yeah. it in our own little online store. Um, but yeah, if you, if you had, let me know down below what you think of the quantum deck. Did you pick one up? Because it's one of those things, right? We always rush to get the latest trick and we forget about the stuff that came out a couple of years ago. Did you pick one up? Did you ever do it? Do you not do it? Do you do it all the time? And if you don't do it, why not? Because. Uh, Bring back the classic. Bring back. Well, I wouldn't say this is a classic, but you know, maybe maybe if I was if it was that egotistical, this is a classic. classic. But uh, but no no yeah. Let me know down below and let me know. Let Katie know what you th what you think of uh, the Katie test, and we'll be back again next week as long as I can drag her out of admin. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Craig. I'm Katie, and we'll see you again soon on a Katie test.